Hey guys and welcome back to a new Get Ready With Me video. I know I'm filming a lot of these recently but I know that a lot of you seem to really really like my Get Ready With Me's and I also like to film them so I thought I'd put one together for London Fashion Week. A lot of you have been chatting to me on my Instagram about how much you're enjoying seeing all the footage kind of behind the scenes and whatnot so I thought I'd bring you along for actual getting ready for an actual day of Fashion Week. So I've gone for an almost a rusted red lip um, with some beautiful Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and I've curled my hair into these lovely beachy um, loose curls that I really really love. I much prefer these looser and uh, natural curls. Um, so I've done that with my new New Me Barrel Curler which is fantastic so I can show you how I use that. And that's it so if you'd like to get ready with me for London Fashion Week then please keep watching. Okay so I'm going to go in with the drops of use from Body Shop. So I'm just going to put this all over my face just as a base layer. It's for ultra hydration. And then I'm just going to use the Elizabeth Arden Skin Balancing Lotion. I'm also going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow Primer Soft Focus Beauty Balm thing. Again, just for a little bit more illumination and also it's a really good primer. For foundation, I'm going to try and use what's left of my NARS Sheer Glow, but I just don't think there's much. Oh, there might be. Oh, I'm in luck. I am in luck. Okay, so I've also just added in some of the Clarins Instant Light as well, mixing with the NARS Sheer Glow on the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I'm just working that into my skin. It's really good trying to blend that in. My skin is really tired and dry recently. So it's not looking its best, I admit. Okay, so on to concealer. I'm going to use a bit of the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. It's not one of my favourites, I'll be honest. But it's quite lightening, so I'm just going to use that triangular shape into my eyes. So I've run out of my usual MAC Prep and Prime. Right. I'm going to also use Clarins Instant Concealer that I use all the time. I know, but it is just so brilliant. It's a perfect shade for me and great coverage. A little bit of that. We're ready. We're ready. So, okay. Rose Ink Sponge, I'm going to use the Vitamin C um, Energising Mist from the Body Shop because my usual Vitamin E face mist has um, it's run out. But I'd highly recommend using the Vitamin E face mist from the Body Shop for this. I'm just adding some extra product that's still on my sponge. Just adding it down the centre of my nose and across my forehead as well. So to set that all in place, I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent press setting powder and my usual uh, Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush that you can find in the NYX PIX collection. I just found that this really disperses the product really lovely without getting too clumpy or heavy on the skin. I'm just setting that exactly where I've put it, nowhere else. I'm going to move on to bronzer. So I'm going to use the Essay Lauder bronze goddess powder on a big real techniques powder brush i'm just going to work that into the neck first down the neck onto the decolletage and then onto the forehead side of the forehead just sort of sweep that on and then a little bit across the middle but mainly the two sides Bring that down the face and onto hollows and then just like blend it down. So I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette and my MAC large contour brush and work that in to cheeks. And then I have to work it up over the cheeks, just to almost fade it upwards from there, and then up the side of the face. And then you bring that down and round to underneath the jawline. And 
And then I've also taken recently to just using, like flattening the brush in my fingers, running it, running it down both sides of my nose as well. Next step, as always, this is literally just my everyday routine pretty much, uh, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and uh, Radiant Light on the end, which I think it is. And I'm just going to sweep that really gently over all of that because it just adds a little bit of a glow. And my favourite highlighter is this one in the middle. You don't know, really know where to put highlight, always look up to light and just add it to the bit that already has light touching it, just to enhance that natural light. I'm just going to use Max Lord to Love. It's like a pretty peachy, gingery tone blush. Okay, I'm going to use the Lorac 2 palette. After much deliberation, that's the one I'm going to go with. So to start off with, I'm going to use these two in this corner, Buff and Snow, which are the two lightest ones, a cream and a white. And I'm going to take that on a Sigma E40, a light, nice big brush. And I'm just working that into the eyebrow bone, just to lighten it up a little bit. You can also use a little bit of beige as well in there because that's really pigmented. Take a little bit of snow and beige. But a lot of you might not have the Lorac 2 palette or the Lorac palette, but any colours or shades that you have that are similar, just use those. I'm not saying you should have to get this. But any champagne colours or light colours. As you know, I always add a champagne -y light colour into the inner corner just because it helps open up my eyes. <laughs> I just find it works for me, so that's what I do. Then I'm just going to take Nectar, this almost peachy toned, very light brown, on a MAC 217. I'm going to add that into my crease. And I'm actually going to take a lot of that over the lid too, because I actually really like this. So I'm going to use a bit of nectar with the brown and just run that under this lower lash line. Just so you can wing it up together. And just connect those two at the side. As per usual, I'm taking my Anastasia brow, dip brow in soft brown, and my bobby brown, my usual routine. Start at the front and the bottom, create the shape of the bottom of the brow, create the tail, then go back and fill in a few gaps. On a heavy brow, I like it. <laughs> uh, Body Shop Brow and Lash Gel, I found it. Last time I did a tutorial, I could not find this bad boy, but it was hiding. Just gonna prep the lips with the By Terry Bomb de Rose. Right, Ico I Do Eyeliner, best thing ever for me at the moment. Eyes curlers. I'm going to do the lower lash line as well. Oh, if I didn't say as well, this is the Clarins Truly Waterproof Mascara, which is my favourite, as you will know. Quite like the idea of using this one from Charlotte Tilbury, Bond Girl. Maybe mix with a bit of. Glastonbury, which is pretty dark. I'm going to use that on a Body Shop lip brush. We'll start off with Glastonbury. Use that to line the lips first. I'm 
Okay, now that's on. I'm just going to go in with the bullet, just intensify it, and just fill in where I've now got it. And I think in the middle, I'm going to use Bond Girl, just to see how that looks. Shade. So I quite like that. With Bond Girl added over the top, it just takes away the purple and just mutes it a bit. I really, really like that. I'm just going to use a little bit of MAC Saw just to try and fill in my keeper's boat a bit more. Cool, that's the makeup done. Happy with that, right, hair, <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? So for my hair, I've got a brand new curling wand from New Me, the Titan 3 professional curling wand. It's got three different heat barrels inside. Ooh. Oh, how cool is that? They're all kind of around it. Um, I'm gonna go with the largest barrel because you know me, I do like my large curls. This is an American curling system though. So it does have an American plug. So I just need to get my adapter. So like always, I'm just gonna section off half of the hair. Do the bottom section first. A little bit of heat protectant on it. this much. Always take the one behind, wrap from the very base to the outside, making sure the hair stays flat against the one. The curls look so nice, I'm actually so impressed. The barrels are so shiny, it's making my hair look really sort of silky when it comes off the barrel. I'm going to do one forwards. We'll go really soft. How pretty is that? I love it. I like that some, some of the curls I took smaller, thinner sections on, so they've gone a little bit more spirally. Then I've got some really large waves coming through as well. Um, I know that when I've watched a few other bloggers and YouTubers use these ones, they say how amazing they are. I've always wanted to try one, so I'm so glad I have. And I know from watching their videos how much they say that they stay in all day, and then you can wake up the next day and they'll still be in. And I personally love that, because it means that your curls are almost flattened a bit, and look even more kind of lived in. And those are the kind of waves that I really, really like. If you did want to get one, I also have some codes that you can use for it as well. Um, for 40% off, you can use the code PURPLELOCKS. I'll leave all this, by the way, in the description bar below. Um, but you can use the code PURPLELOCKS and that will get you 40% off and also $12 UK shipping and then free US shipping. Or if you use the code IN THE FRO, you get $100 off a set and also a free paddle brush. So some pretty cool offers as well if you want to get one for yourself. And that is everything guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked any of the products that I used in this video, of course they'll all be linked right down below and you can also find those codes down there for the curlers as well. If you liked the video then please do give it a thumbs up, I love that, and also subscribe if you're new. And in that case, I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.